going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time to do this, baby. Today, we're going to talk about when the testing list will be back. Giants announced Silver Run Forest Writing Contest, second place winner. And we got nine modders to talk about, including updates to the Valley of the Old Farm, Monet Farms, and Court Farms. Check it out. Before we jump into today's farm some news, just a reminder that Giant Software are still out of the office until tomorrow, so don't expect to see any mods drop today. I do have a blooper video scheduled for you guys later today, so we'll check that out and we'll pick back up like normal tomorrow. We did have a blog drop yesterday on Easter Sunday, though. Second place in the Silver Run Forest Riding Contest has been announced. Congratulations to Toby! The full story is up on the Farm Sim blog if you want to check it out. Jumping over to modern news, Black Sheep Mining has officially sent off the Valley of the Old Farm for testing for all platforms. The average waiting time newly submitted mods varies between mods and maps, but generally takes about a week to get on the testing list regardless so keep an eye out for this maybe sometime later this week or more likely early next week as with most maps and i think with every map ever it's not going to pass testing the first time around but i will keep you posted as more information has been made available one map that is back with giants awaiting testing for all platforms is monad farms by mappers paradise this appears to be an update which will bring the map to consoles and update the pc version and mappers paradise actually says that the map has been sitting with giants since last Monday, a week now, so hopefully we'll see it back on the list early this week. Keeping it going with maps, Oxygen David has shared a few new screenshots of Cord Farms, some of which we've already seen, but there are a few inside, like the John Deere dealer, things like that that I don't think we've seen yet. I will leave a link in the description to the public page if you'd like to check them out for yourself, or you can check some of them out at farmsomenews.com. Moving on from maps, HR4 showcases their custom Light Wolf, which they say they've been working on for about a year now. It's got a working three-point hitch, foldable sign, and comes with two versions. The first version works like base game with a sliding edge always horizontal to the working ground. The second version, however, works like in real life, with a freely movable part on the front, and you can push it tilted, the edge also becomes tilted then, and, well, this has all been translated, and I'm not quite sure what any of that means. Uh, they do say additionally driving properties have been revised, and there'll be tons of colors. The mod will be for all platforms. PC Beulah Farms brings us an update to his Volvo truck with a few of the parts in Giant's Editor, showcasing different customization options for the frame links, cabins, exhaust options, grill, and a few other goodies. The update was posted as a video on his YouTube channel yesterday, which I will leave the link in the description. Also, congratulations to BC on reaching 5 million downloads on the Mod Hub. He has released 16 mods and packs on the Mod Hub with credits on a few other things like Edgewater Saskatchewan and the swathing add-on. You rock, man. CMT Software, aka Smetty, has posted up a few more screenshots of their Samson SG and TGX work in progress, being pulled behind what I think is their Clausarian 3000 saddle track from the Mod Hub, which is already out for all platforms. Great looking mod setup, and there's not many people that do it better than them. I can't wait to see this in our mod folders. Holly Cow Modding's back with us with another mod that they're bringing back for Farm Sim 19, the Lizard Cyrol 3000. This is a silage packer or silage roller used in silos, and say they're completely remaking the mod, so it's not just a conversion, this is basically a brand new mod with the same name. The version for Farm Sim 19 was for all platforms, man, I don't think that's going to be indifferent here. Ada Monning's also been super busy with a few things, starting with this Dakota Hopper Bin trailer being made with Devo Media for all platforms. These are some early screenshots of the progress, and it's looking good. They say it will likely be Lizard branded for consoles, though, due to licensing, but it will be Dakota for PC. Otherwise, looking good. Ada Monning's also working on an update to his IBC and Pallet Stack mod to add a few new bell types that were released with the about DLC, and he's adding versions of the in-game round balers without a beeping sound when they're almost full. Of course, you'll need the IBC and Pallet Stack mod for that non-beeping mod thing to work, but a uh, neat idea for all platforms nonetheless. Very cool. And lastly today, Maze Plus will be getting an update soon to version 1.1.2 with changes and bug fixes, specifically fixing an issue with the mowers, incorporating silage additive for Groovall DLC, forge harvesters, balers, and loading wagons globally for custom Ace Plus crops, and adding new custom foil colors. I'm not sure if the update is either with Giants right now, or maybe it's going to be sent off soon, but farming agency do say soon on Giants Mod Hub. So 
Take that as you will. And you can also take this self-aware segue to the outro as you will. I mean, you kind of have to unless you've already clicked off this video by now. But uh, why would you do that when you haven't heard that just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsomenews.com thanks to Yoast Modding. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mods going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Goham fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Then, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye. Normally, I record the news videos at around 8.30 in the morning. Currently, it's 6 a.m. I got a meeting today. Oof.